Have you ever pondered the enigmatic link between Frisian and the Scandinavian languages? The mystery of language is a fascinating journey into the past. It's a trip down the memory lane of human civilization, and today we're embarking on a linguistic adventure, exploring the elusive connection between the Frisian and Scandinavian tongues. Frisian, a lesser known language, is primarily spoken by a small populace in the Netherlands and Germany. It stands as a testament to the region's past, a relic of a bygone era when the Frisians, a Germanic ethnic group, held sway over the area. It's a language that has weathered the storms of time, holding on to its unique characteristics and idiosyncrasies. On the other hand, we have the Scandinavian languages, Norwegian, Swedish, and Danish. These languages, spoken in the northern regions of Europe, are known for their melodic sound and complex structure. They are the linguistic descendants of the mighty Vikings, seafaring warriors and explorers who once ruled the seas. But what is the link between these two seemingly disparate linguistic families? The question has puzzled linguists and historians for centuries. Both languages belong to the broader Germanic family, yet their similarities seem to extend beyond mere familial ties. Some believe that these parallels point to a shared history, perhaps even a common ancestor, while others argue that the likenesses are mere coincidences, the result of cultural exchange over the centuries. There is an air of mystery that surrounds these languages. It's a puzzle that has stirred the curiosity of linguists, historians and enthusiasts alike. It's a riddle wrapped in the enigma of time, waiting to be unraveled, its secrets longing to be discovered. So are you ready to embark on this journey with us? to traverse the annals of history, to delve into the mysteries of language, and to uncover the truth behind the link between the Frisian and Scandinavian languages. Let us delve into this enigma, shall we? To understand this intriguing link, we must first travel back in time. Picture a world where seafaring warriors, known as Vikings, ruled the waves. It's the Viking Age, a period between the 8th and 11th centuries, an era of exploration, trade, and conquest. Among these seafaring folks were the Frisians, a proud and independent tribe inhabiting the coastal areas of the Netherlands and Germany. The Frisians were not just bystanders in this age of exploration. They were active participants, their ships sailing alongside their Viking counterparts, navigating the same waves, visiting the same shores. Their journeys took them to far off lands, from the British Isles to the Baltics, and their interactions with other cultures left indelible marks on their language. Now let's talk about the Scandinavian Vikings. These Norse seafarers, known for their longships and fierce combat skills, were also prolific traders and explorers. Their voyages took them across Europe, Asia, and even North America, long before Columbus set foot on the New World. And just like the Frisians, their encounters with different cultures had a significant impact on their language. But here's where it gets interesting. The Frisians and the Scandinavians didn't just sail the same seas. They interacted, mingled, and in many instances, lived side by side. This close contact resulted in a mutual influence on each other's languages, with words, phrases, and grammatical structures being borrowed and adapted. Consider this. The old Frisian language, spoken between the 8th and 16th centuries, is believed to have been significantly influenced by Old Norse, the language of the Scandinavian Vikings. This influence is still evident in the modern Frisian language, with many words and phrases bearing a striking resemblance to their Scandinavian counterparts. So, in essence, the historical backdrop of these languages is a tapestry woven from the threads of exploration, cultural exchange, and linguistic adaptation. It's a tapestry that tells the story of seafaring tribes, of Viking warriors and Frisian sailors, their lives intertwined by the waves they rode and the languages they spoke. So, history has left its fingerprints, but how does this translate to the languages we see today? Let's dive into the linguistic intricacies that hint at a connection. Unraveling the threads of language can sometimes feel like solving a cryptic puzzle, and the relationship between Frisian and the Scandinavian languages is no exception. When we examine these languages closely, we notice striking similarities. Both Frisian and Scandinavian languages feature a similar sentence structure known as subject-verb-object, a pattern that can be seen in sentences such as I love apples. This shared syntax suggests a common linguistic ancestry, a clue that whispers of shared histories and intertwined cultures. But our linguistic journey doesn't end there. 
In the realm of vocabulary, we find intriguing overlaps. Words such as burn in Frisian, meaning child, bear a close resemblance to barn in Danish and barn in Swedish. This linguistic kinship extends to countless everyday words from fisk and fisk, meaning fish, to fask and fersk, meaning fresh in Norwegian. These shared words, like ancient relics, point to a common linguistic heritage that has weathered the sands of time. And if we listen closely, we can hear echoes of this connection in the phonology, the sounds of the languages themselves. The nice esk sound in Frisian, as in falsk or false, can also be heard in the esk sound in Norwegian like Engelsk or English. These phonetic parallels, like melodies in a symphony, resonate with the rhythm of a common past. But language is not a static entity, frozen in time. It evolves, changes and adapts, just like the people who speak it. And so we also find differences, divergences that have emerged over centuries. The Frisian language, for instance, has retained the three gender system of Old English, a feature that most Scandinavian languages have simplified. These linguistic clues certainly suggest a link, but what does modern research tell us? Unraveling this linguistic puzzle requires not just a keen ear and an observant eye, but also the insights of modern scholarship. And that, dear listeners, is where we will venture next. Scholars have been intrigued by this mystery for years. The connection between Frisian and the Scandinavian languages has been a topic of intense debate and analysis in the academic world. For centuries, linguists and historians have been piecing together the puzzle, weaving a tapestry of theories and hypotheses. The question is not whether a link exists, but rather how deep this connection goes and how it came to be. One of the notable scholars in this field is Dr. Johan Winkler, a Dutch linguist and ethnographer who dedicated his life to the study of Frisian and its connections to other languages. He proposed that the similarities between Frisian and the Scandinavian languages could be traced back to the Viking Age, when the Frisians and the Norsemen were in close contact. Another eminent scholar, Dr. Robert Nadoma, a professor of Germanic and Nordic philology, argued that the similarities are not merely a result of contact, but rather they suggest a common Germanic root. He believes that Frisian and the Scandinavian languages share a common linguistic ancestor, which over time branched out and evolved into the distinct languages we know today. Then, there's Dr. Keyes Decker, a specialist in Old English and Old Norse, who suggests a marriage of both theories. He proposed that the Frisian and Scandinavian languages share a common Germanic root, but the Viking Age interactions further amplified their similarities. These theories, each with its own merits, paint a complex picture of linguistic evolution and cultural exchange. They remind us that languages are not static, but dynamic, ever-changing entities that evolve with the societies that use them. But despite the wealth of research and theories, the exact nature of the link between Frisian and the Scandinavian languages remains elusive. It's a mystery that continues to captivate scholars, a puzzle that's yet to be fully solved. Indeed, the scholarly perspective adds another layer to our understanding. It invites us to look beyond the surface, to probe deeper into the rich tapestry of our linguistic heritage. The mystery endures, and the quest for answers continues, adding more intrigue to the fascinating world of languages. So, what can we conclude from our linguistic journey? We have traversed through the mists of time, exploring the mysterious link between the Frisian and Scandinavian languages. Our journey began with the historical backdrop, revealing the tales of the Frisian Vikings and their seafaring exploits. They left their indelible mark not only on the lands they sailed to, but also on the languages spoken there we dove into the linguistic puzzle that these two language families present. The Frisian language, with its unique characteristics, shares striking similarities with the Scandinavian languages. These similarities are not mere coincidences, but reflections of a shared past. The syntax, phonetics and vocabulary of these languages echo the voices of the Frisian Vikings who once roamed the seas. Our exploration also took us into the scholarly perspective where we delved into the research and studies conducted by linguists and historians. Their work provides compelling evidence of the link between Frisian and Scandinavian languages. The scholarly consensus supports the theory that these languages evolved from a common ancestor, further cementing their connection. But our journey does not end here. The vast ocean of linguistic knowledge is a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. 
the language of the Frisian Vikings with its rich history and intriguing connections offers a unique learning opportunity. The historical, linguistic and scholarly evidence we discussed all point towards a fascinating link between Frisian and the Scandinavian languages. As we conclude our journey, remember, you too can delve deeper into this fascinating language. The world of the Frisian language is a realm of mystery and history, waiting for you to uncover its secrets. And what better way to do so than to learn the language itself? So, are you ready to embark on your own linguistic adventure? To explore the sounds, words and grammar of the Frisian language? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. Visit learnfrisian.com to start your linguistic adventure today.